Restructuring from a working file to 3D warehouse content. Restructuring means we want to minimize the number of clicks the user has to use to edit a component to change a subcomponent's color or orientation. For this reason, keep your component nesting to a minimum. Put subcomponents and groups at the main level of the file where they can be accessed quickly. There's a particular issue with many CAD-generated models. When imported, these create empty wrapper levels within a component. See how many times I have to click? Goodness sakes. To get down to the geometry. It's best practice to remove these empty wrappers before uploading to 3D Warehouse. The Outliner can help show this. The Outliner is linked directly to the model. If I expand this, you can see how deeply nested the geometry really is. It's all the way down there. One, two, three, six levels deep. The quickest way to simplify the nesting of a component is to use Explode. Watch the Outliner as I explode this cache stand bracket. Each explode eliminates a component level. I continue until all objects are one level within the outer component wrapper. Now, if we look at the component, double click on it, we are in the geometry right away and I can select each of the individual pieces. The previous example showed nesting levels that came in with CAD geometry during import. When you are doing the modeling in SketchUp, you can work it as a single shell where everything is one object, or you can have individual subcomponents. That's fine. This shows a flat organization. All subcomponents are at the uppermost level of the component, and I can get to the brake clip immediately upon editing the component. Now, this isn't required, but it is highly recommended. It's best practice to give your components meaningful names so that the user can figure out what's what.